All right, here's the first set that you need to know and love. Hold on, I'll adjust here for a second. All right, this is a mnemonic. A mnemonic should make it easier for you to remember all of these random polyatomics. If you remember the polyatomic, or if you remember the mnemonic, you will be able to do nine different polyatomics just from this little phrase right here. Nick the camel ate a clam for supper in Phoenix. So, you know, maybe you want to try to uh, write this a bunch of times or whatever to remember it, but it's actually not hard, right? You can imagine Nick the camel eating a clam for supper in Phoenix. Uh, the only tricky part here might be spelling the word Phoenix, but, you know, Phoenix. All right, here we go. Here's how this works. The first letter, the first, you know, consonants, actually, because here we're talking about the CL, the first consonants of the... Um, each word stands for the element, right? So if this would be for nitrogen. This would be for carbon, chlorine, sulfur, phosphorus. Now we're going to be doing the eights. So if you look on your sheet, okay, on this sheet here, we're talking about nitrate, sulfate, carbonate, phosphate, chlorate. So these are the eights. And see, it's right here, right in the phrase, uh, right in the sentence, eight. So you'll remember that this is nitrate, carbonate, chlorate, because of this eight. Now the first letter stands for the element that it starts with. And there's a pattern to this. Every single one of these things has an O that comes after the main letter or the main element, I should say. Okay, now it's some number of O's. It's not just one O. So how can we tell how many O's it is? Well, if we count up the consonants, right? If we count the consonants, including the first letters, that tells us how many O's. So here I have one, two, three consonants. So that equals three oxygens. So it would be NO3, subscript three. That's the formula. This formula is for nitrate. If I count the consonants here, I have CML, that's three. So that would be CO3. The formula for carbonate is CO3. CLM, that's three. SPPR, that's four. PHNX, that's four. Well, that's great, right? I've got the formulas, but I can even do better than that. Now let's count the vowels. I only have one vowel here, right? One vowel, A, E, I, O, U, those are the vowels. So one vowel equals negative one charge. So the vowels are the charge. So in this case, this would have a one minus charge. And for each one of these things, you have to know the formula and the charge. Those are important. You can't just know the formula. You have to know the charge also. So if you look here, A and E, that's two. So that would be two minus. A, one, that's one minus. U and E, that's 2 minus. O, E, I, that's 3 minus. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 polyatomics that you can get if you know this mnemonic. Now, I want to show you one more thing. Okay? 8 is a suffix, right? So this would be nitrate. There's that eight. Eight is a suffix. Carbonate, chlorate, right? Each one of these has a suffix. And the eight tells you about the number of oxygens. Now, if I were to change that to it, if I change my suffix in English, right, that changes the meaning of that uh, word, 
Well, if I change the suffix here from nitrate to nitrite, the thing here that changes is the number of oxygens. The rule is we subtract one oxygen. We subtract one oxygen. I'm sorry, you can't see that. Subtract one oxygen. So if instead of nitrate, I had nitrite, that would be NO2. And guess what? The charge stays exactly the same. Do not change the charge when you go from an 8 to an ite. Okay, so that would be nitrite, NO2, 1 minus. There's no such thing as carbonite, uh, although for you Star Wars fans out there, carbonite is the thing they supposedly froze Han Solo in. Yeah, it doesn't actually exist. Sorry about that. So we're not going to worry about this one. But there is such a thing as chlorite, right? Chlorite equals ClO2. We subtract one O, one minus. The charge stays the same. Sulfite would be SO3, two minus. Oops, minus, not plus. And this one would be PO3, three minus. So now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine polyatomic ions that this one mnemonic plus the rule can help you understand much better than trying to, ran to memorize nine random things on their own.